All right, so pretty much here's an update on my rucksack. Um, I've bought some new things, and I've also moved things around. Um, I'm going to be going over the rucksack, like I said, but I'm also going to be going over details about the channel and, you know, the, pretty much the future of the channel. So, um, you know, bear with me on that. Um, I know these rucksack videos, you know, I've been kind of pumping them out, I think more than anything else, but this is probably going to be my final rucksack video, or you might see one more, but it's going to be, you know, you guys are going to see a difference, and it's not really going to be like the same thing, um, so, you know, there's going to be some uh, watch value, I suppose that's what it's called, but anyway, so here's a rucksack, it's high on the frame compared to what it used to be, um, this, I prefer... I prefer this way better or way more than how it used to be because it was just very difficult to actually get inside the pack itself because honestly like um, it's just much more difficult like it's more out of the way you have to take out all this stuff just be able to get things out and on top of that everything that's on high on the frame is actually getting in the way on the low you know it's all kind of coming it's all kind of coming down on the, the ruck um, and I couldn't really use a lot of like the um, the loops and stuff that was on this pack because everything was just so scrunched up on it. Um, I don't know if you guys can notice in like the last video that's kind of what was going on. I never even really used the bottom ruck. It was honestly just kind of there for filler. Um, previously I actually just had a pillow in the ruck. Now I actually put a whole bunch of personal items. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that is historically accurate. There's a few things that I, I think they're kind of like iffy, you know. I honestly don't have any personal items. I have like, you know, pretty much every per, like, um, pretty much everything you would need for like a three-day patrol, like heating tablets, angle light. I have my angle light in there, um, duct tape, um, rations, food, cl extra clothing, socks. You know, I just have that kind of stuff in there. Uh, one of these days I'll go through everything actually that might be probably my next video but any I'll get to that later but anyway I have it completely filled up with you know historically accurate um, as for as I know um, I could have some incorrect stuff so uh, let me know in the comments when that video comes out let me know in the comments if anything's kind of iffy um, but I'm getting off topic <laughs> shit anyway so this is what the rucksack looks like now I have that um, five quarter canteen on the very top. Um, I have cardboard underneath everything. I guess I'll just do this right now. There's cardboard. On the sides I have two smoke grenades. Uh, these are like airsoft grenades. They hold BBs. I dropped this one a little bit too hard and the uh, threading is like crushed with the um, top portion. So it doesn't really like want to open so the BBs are kind of trapped in there I was honestly just thinking about drilling a hole on the bottom and like saving some BBs but that's kind of up in the air uh, my machete is right here there's duct tape on it because in that um, 187th uh, footage that I saw some guy actually had duct tape you know taped around his uh what's it called his machete um, one of these days, I will add photos. I actually will edit this stuff. I'll probably add photos in the corner so you guys know I'm not bullshitting. But it's in the 187th. They, um, the only real footage at the 187th. And, uh, or I think it's like probably the second footage, um, second video. Um, but anyway, they actually go to back to Hamburger Hill just to check it out. It takes place, I think, in 71, so fairly late war. But... One of the guys, I think he had like a mustache or something. It's like in the middle of the film. He actually, you know, he duct taped this. And so I saw that and I copied it. Um, way, it's, it makes it way easier to, you know, use it and so on and so forth. Because it kind of slides around everywhere and this just kind of adds more grip. But I just have it kind of tucked in. You know, I have this uh, ruck fastened as tight as I possibly could. Not really as possibly, just like so it doesn't crush everything. You know, I just kind of have it on there tight so it doesn't really move around. But, uh, smoke grenades, machete, uh, shovel. This is the M67 shovel. Um, this is actually on the tropical rucksack I had, but I just moved it to here. Uh, I just put my shovel on the tropical rucksack and I just moved this, um, to this pack. Just because 
you know, uh, it takes up less space and it's a little bit more easier. But um, what else? Uh, carabiner. This is a new carabiner. Uh, these ones are actually GI use issued. Uh, the one I had previously was just kind of like, I guess, like a civilian version. And you can honestly feel the difference. This one actually feels really thick and heavy duty compared to the other one. I think the other one was made out of aluminum. And these are actually maybe made out of metal. I'm not entirely sure. But I just have the two canteens hanging out. Um, I don't think there's anything else on this side. That might be everything. On this side over here. Uh, ignore that. That's just trash. Um, this is just a first aid. Uh, two canteens. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the other canteen. There it is. You know, two canteens. I actually have this um, canteen strap wrapped around it, which is pretty cool. For whatever reason, my pack actually was cut. Like, um, the loops over here, there's only one loop, and the other one, but on both sides, are actually cut. So it's just kind of somewhat dangling. So I just kind of wrap this around here and it keeps it on. And uh, then I have a sea ration sock. Uh... I think that might be it for this side, and then I guess for the middle, I have a boonie stove. There isn't really like too much, um, too many videos of a boonie stove on YouTube, so this might be the first one. But uh, pretty much, guys would just get sea rations, and you know after they open them and stuff, they would actually get a church church key, which is like the beer opener. I can't think of the specific name. I think I honestly think it's just called a beer opener. It's like a long can opener you know if that makes things a little bit easier for you guys but they just got that um, poked it on the edges and I poked them like opposite from each other so there's these two you know that one's in the middle just so uh, I guess better stove but um, I copied an image and you know there's like forums kind of talking about it and stuff I think there's even like a little article dedicated to it on like some sea ration Wikipedia or something like that, but I just kind of have this hanging on here. Um, it was very common. I think this guy named uh, Ed Spooky or Spooky Ed, I can't think that's like his last name or some shit, but um, he was in the 1st Cavalry 7th Division or something like that, and he made one of these during his time. He actually had his um, ruck in this setup. Um, anyways, there's the Claymore bag just kind of hanging out on there. Um, I think this one's just going to be like something for personal items. I might actually buy another Claymore bag and just say that's, you know, an actual Claymore bag. Except, you know, n not this one's just kind of like a personal um, item one. And then underneath all that, let me see if I can adjust this ruck. This thing's like, I think maybe 40 pounds. Um, not that much compared to the original or what guys used to carry. They used to carry, I think, about like... 90 and up pounds which is insane um, but I just have the ammo can on the bottom on top of a shelter half which you guys can't see there it is shelter half with all six pegs and I actually have two shelter halves I just have that other one on the other uh, rucksack you know in case I want to make a tent or something um, with my buddy but anyways I have the poncho first poncho liner and then a uh, bedroll. And then uh, the ammo can. Ammo cans would actually be used for two like purposes. You put personal items and then you you know put ammo in it. Um, the ammo can actually got like a little nickname called uh, the Grunt's Briefcase, which I thought was kind of funny. I think guys actually even brought soda in these cans, um, which is really weird. Weird thing that guys you know brought soda in the fields, but um, you know that's what they did. And then I have a signal flare. Um, just kind of chilling out. I think it has a repro cover, but this is original. See, you know. Um, that might be it. One of these days, I will be going over what's inside this, you know, everything. Um, that's probably going to be, you know, my next video. And, you know, talking about the future of the channel. Um, so far, I've decided to change my unit I'm gonna be doing first cavalry instead of uh, the 101st I will be making two impression videos one of them's gonna be the first cavalry and then the other one's gonna be um, 101st rock sons 
Um, cause I do have gear, um, kind of like, you know, like those both, 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 I can't speak. Both of those units had like different gear and, you know, different kind of things they would do. And so I think it'd be kind of worth making two videos. So the first cavalry, my first cavalry impression, which is, you know, this layout, um, I'm going to be doing probably 71, 72, cause those guys were there pretty much to the end. It's really interesting. Um, they got a lot of like new gear compared to the Rockassons. They got a lot of old gear or like they had a, like a mix between gears. Um, so I think I'm going to be making my impression video finally, you know, since forever. Um, it's actually at the point where I think, you know, it's worth showing. Um, but also expect like an update video of my first cavalry impression because um, I'm probably going to be buying more stuff and, you know, changing a few things. But yeah, so pretty much just changing my unit. I'm be doing a. I'm gonna finally be doing an impression video. I've been doing, you know, like as you guys know, I've just been kind of doing parts. But I think it's about time to make an impression video and just going over um, everything I have and all that. And I'm gonna be showing off, you know, what I carry inside the pack. Um, you know, all the stuff that I carry is just really in this pack. I don't have anything in here. It's just kind of cardboard. Um, I don't have anything in here, um, but yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.